Good morning again. This is part two. <laughs> this is part two. Good morning. Come on in here. This is part two. Y'all running an experiment. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I was running an experiment. Good morning again. Good morning. <laughs> Y'all come on in here. Good morning, Facebook, Periscope, and YouTube. Hope everybody's doing well. This is part two. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope everybody had a wonderful Father's Day. Uh, it is good for us to be here. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Get those notebooks out. Do you have your library of books, of Dr. Sam's book? Uh, my client, hey, Antoinette. Hey, Sunitha. Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing fine. Hope you had a great uh, Father's Day weekend. I watched some movies last night. Uh, Two Minutes of Fame. You need to watch that. Um, Jay Pharoah. It was really good. It was good. It was good. Two minutes of fame. Jay Pharoah and Cat Williams. It was good. Good morning, Patrice. How's everybody doing? It is good for us uh, to be here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hope everybody's doing all right. It is good for us to be here this morning. Get your notebook. Grab your notebooks. What are we going to talk about this morning? Something we're going to talk about this morning is so powerful for everybody. Can you talk? Start your notes this morning. Can you talk? Your dose of Dr. Sims this morning. Uh, I'm, I'm America's number one personal development expert. Um, can you talk? Dr. Sam, that's so, so raw. What are you talking about? Communicating how you truly feel is an art form. Saying, I don't know, nothing's wrong, it's not good. Because, again, that's too broad. And if you really want somebody to know where you're coming from, you need to learn to put into words how you truly feel. One gift we don't have is mind reading. And I share this with couples all the time. Women, you do your relationship and yourself a disservice when your partner asks you, well, baby, what's wrong? And you say, nothing's wrong. That's not true. And I share with couples in premarital coaching and marital coaching, and, and this is a tool that I use, you ought to have a no judgment zone. Well, Dr. Sims, what is a no judgment zone? The no judgment zone is a space and a time where you can talk to each other and be honest and tell how you truly feel. Whenever I start coaching somebody, I tell them all the time, if we're working on your head, don't tell me your foot is hurting. Okay? If, if, if your foot is hurting, you can't tell Dr. Sims, well, doc, well, doc, my foot hurts, but it's really my head. So at the end of the four to eight weeks, I say, okay, well, how's your foot? Well, my head is hurting. My head still hurts. I said, well, you told me it was your foot. And, and we'll get to more of that in a moment. But your, your dose of Dr. Sims today is learn how to communicate and express yourself. Dr. Sims, that's so obvious. Well, it may be obvious, but a lot of people don't know how to do it. And, and, and men especially are sort of handicapped in this area because we men don't know how to express themselves. I get paid to talk, so I um, I have logophilia. What is that, Dr. Sim? I love words, okay? I love words. I love thought. I love connecting ideas and, and all that good stuff. So I'm. I, this is what I do. This is what I do. This, this is what I do. I love to talk, so... I won't say it comes easy for me, but I enjoy talking. I'm an extrovert. I love to talk. But everybody is not where I am or want to be. But the downside to that is you cannot get angry and, and say people don't understand you if you don't take time to communicate and express yourself. Oh, come on, somebody. Do y'all feel me? I feel good today, y'all. Uh, I'm getting ready for vacation. I am so good right now. 
But but I I mean I dreamed about this last night, so I had to talk to you about it this morning. I dreamed about this last night, and and this was laid on my heart to talk about today, because, okay, that being said, when someone talks, and I'm just giving you a dose of that. I don't want to overdose you today. When somebody talks, don't don't get don't fall for the okie doke with their with their rants and raves and body language etc because it's so many variables hear the heart hear what said and hear what's not said and so receiving a message it takes work as well and we'll talk about that later but what the onus on you if you want somebody to understand you learn how to communicate and express yourself without getting emotional i guess i should have added that caveat without getting emotional add that in your notes learn how to communicate and express yourself without getting emotional take the emotions out of it and 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 <laughs> and i tell i tell the husbands and the fiancés don't don't get sidetracked by her emotions listen to her heart and vice versa men say a lot women you have to listen we definitely communicate on different wavelengths but that's why you have to what does the Bible say? Be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. James 1.19. Amen. I just couldn't wait to get to y'all this morning. So you can't complain about being misunderstood when you're not expressing. Come on, Wilma. You feel me? So you you can't you can't condemn me. For not understanding you if you don't tell me how you feel what's going on and I don't know and nothing's wrong that's too broad I don't know that's too broad nothing's wrong that's too broad and then you get frustrated with me when 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 I go north and you wanted me to go south well that's not what you said and I hear what you say, and I take it at face value. If you tell, if that's what you say, and I listen to how people use words, and that's why I tweeted a mega pastor two weeks ago about what he said and what he didn't say. I hear what you're saying. I break down what you say because, again, I'm a coach. I'm a pastor. I'm a professional speaker. So I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen at what you say. And, 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 being a good listener, that's a piece of this. I, I hope y'all taking notes. I hope y'all taking notes. Being a good listener is a piece of this. Because when somebody takes their time to express themselves, you ought to listen. Give them your undivided attention. Okay, come on now. So th this has so many layers. Being an active listener, that's another piece of this. So if I do take time to talk, you need to listen. Come on, is it? It's getting quiet in here this morning. <laughs> what are we talking about today, Dr. Sims? Learn how to communicate and express yourself. Free your mind <laughs> and the rest will follow. Learn to talk. I was with a client a couple of weeks ago and I mean, we this is the first time we have met and, and she was a client. She's been following me since I've been live streaming. And she said, Dr. Sims, I'm just talking, I'm just talking. Oh no, this is your time. And she talked about an hour and a half. And he said, okay, she said, your turn. <laughs> Bless her heart. And she'll be watching the replay. And she's going to be like, Dr. Sims, that was me. <laughs> so learn how to communicate and express yourself. Oh, okay, I hear you. I hear you. And and it's 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 a it's about being vulnerable. Because when you express yourself, you run the risk of being judged. That's why I said in, in relationship space, have a no judgment zone. And you hear people say all the time, don't judge me. So when you learn how to communicate and express yourself, you run the risk of being vulnerable and being judged. You're vulnerable and you're going to be judged. You can't complain about being misunderstood when you're not expressive. Come on. We got about 10 more minutes. Come on. Okay, okay, Dr. Sam, this part of your dosage. So how do I how do I communicate how I feel? Write this in your notes. Be honest. 
Dog, that's simple. Evidently, it's not. Evidently, what I'm talking about this morning is not simple. Learn how to communicate and express yourself. That's right, trainer. Thank you, trainer, trainer. That's exactly right. But but you, you're running the risk of being vulnerable and being judged. Because when you express yourself, what well, that's how you feel. Now, let me let me chase a rabbit. Thank you, trainer. Let me chase a rabbit. When someone tells you how you make them feel, you can't argue that. What you what you should try and do, what you should do is is explore that and say, okay, I need to change up some stuff. I made you feel this way, so I, I got to change. You feel me? So when someone tells you, well, well, Trina, you made me feel this way, or Trina said, Dr. Sam, you made me feel this way. Okay, I need to adjust. And, and that's the art of coaching. I have to match your speed. And I'm telling that's why I told you communication is an art form. This is not a science. Oh, come on, somebody. Do y'all feel me? So you can't complain about being misunderstood when you're not expressive. How do I do that, Dr. Sims? Be honest. And that's why in relationship space, I did a wedding. I did a wedding Saturday. And I took the couple through. We are engaged. Now, what? We had all that. That wedding was so nice Saturday. And, and I love, I, I got to go to... Um, Austin, Texas, September, do a wedding. And that it just blessed my, I, I love weddings. And I love premarital coaching. I love marital coaching. And one of the things I talk about in relationship space is having a no judgment zone. Because if you make me feel this way, you can't argue that. And when somebody tells you that, don't be defensive. Y'all better help me. Y'all better help me. What are we talking about today? Y'all better help me. Come on, pastor. Come on, coach. Come on, coach. Come on, coach. You feel me? When somebody tells you, well, you make me feel this way, you can't argue that. So what are we talking about today? Good morning, everybody. I'm Dr. Walter Sims. Let me reset. Good morning, everybody. I'm Dr. Walter Sims. I'm America's number one person development expert. And, and what are we talking about today? What are we talking about today? Can you talk? And we're talking about expressing yourself today. That's your dose of Dr. Sims today. Can you talk? Learn how to communicate and express yourself. Come on, everybody. Do you feel me? Dr. Sims, really? Yes, because when you express yourself, you're being vulnerable and you run the risk of being judged. Now, you can't complain about being misunderstood when you're not expressive. Wow. Wow. Now, another layer to this is when somebody takes the time to express themselves, you must be an active listener. Hear their heart. Don't just listen to try to get your two pennies in. Listen to their heart. Just don't listen to respond. Hear their heart. Work on understanding where they're coming from. Put yourself in their shoes. So, Dr. Sam, how do we do this? Just be honest. I call this the no judgment zone in relationship space. I challenge couples, your, your time, your, your, your alone time every week, carve out 30 minutes to an hour to be honest with each other. Well, baby, I would have loved if you had done this. Okay, okay, I feel you. Okay, okay. Come on, Trina. Amen. Baby, I would have loved for you to have done this. Okay. Okay, I would have loved if you had done this. Okay, amen. You you share your heart and be as honest as you can. And when I'm coaching people, I tell them from the from the from the gate. I tell them from the jump. If you're not gonna be honest, I can't help you. When you go to the doctor, you can't tell them your head hurt when it's really your foot. And a lot of people try to swerve. And and like Trina said, you you. You share your truth. Let the chips fall where they may. And that, if they're going to judge you based on that, well, oh, okay. But that's how I feel. That's on my heart. And I'm telling y'all, it, it with some, it, 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 with Dr. Sim, that, Dr. Sim, that's simple. Well, it's some, some, 
it must it must be hard because people are not hearing themselves in the White House. People are not hearing themselves in the church house. People are not, not hearing themselves in the social house. And people are not hearing themselves in your house. People are not hearing. We, somebody not listening. Oh, a lot of people are talking, but a lot of people are not listening. I guess this, this may be my message tomorrow. Intend to listen. Because some, somebody's not getting the message. Oh, come on, somebody. Somebody's not getting the message. Somebody's not getting the message. Hello? And we, we're going to delve more into this um, on Thursday night in my, in, my, in my coaching Thursday night, in my private group Thursday night. But Dr. Sam, private group, what are you talking about? Well, a lot of people say they need more of Dr. Sam's, but to get more of Dr. Sam's, you must invest in yourself. Dr. Sam, I want to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Well, there's an investment to that. Go to bit.ly slash pre-coach. But I designed something that's affordable and accessible, and it's called the Motivation Zone. Dr. Sam, what do I need to do? Go to bit.ly slash Doc Mozone. Somebody joined last week, and the seats are shrinking. I want 300 like-minded people in my private group, and it's only $97 a month. What am I going to get, Dr. Sam? You're going to get four things. A free ebook, Walk in Purpose, Grow Rich. A Living Motivated, Get Your Notebook Journal. A Weekly Motivation Email. We start with the Secret Sauce Series, and the first email you're going to get is Positive Mental Attitude. And you're going to get a seat in my private group. A monthly mastermind, Facebook Live, Living on Purpose Coaching Private Group. Oh, man, last month was so good. This Thursday night is going to be good. Dr. Sam, when does that change happen? When does my light bulb come on? We're going to look at the prodigal son. We're going to delve into that. Oh, man, it's going to be good. And again, this is only $97 a month. And just the weekly email alone is worth the investment. People that understand value never worry about how much how many Bentley commercials do you see and I said this the other day you ought to have a person development budget because you know what I promote if you stay high on life life is going to stay high on you so Dr. Sam Dr. Sam's okay I need to work on this because I and, and Wilma said this a moment ago. I clam up. I, I keep I just keep my mouth shut. Things don't get solved just because you're quiet. Because you know what's really hurtful today in this society, and it hurt it during it hurt during Dr. King's tenure. A silent friend is worse than your loudest enemy. A lot of people that support Black Lives Matter, a lot of people aren't saying anything. A lot of people that need to speak out against the ills of our society are being silent. It's time for you to speak your peace. And just, I'm, I'm not promoting just having something to say for the sake of having something to say. But speak up when you should. That, that's wisdom. And I had a client and I worked with her with this. And she said, Dr. Sam, I just got to learn how to, to say what's on my heart. And I said, your real challenge is not necessarily sharing what's on your heart. Is speaking at the right time, and, and Trina, that's right. That that's right. That's exactly right. And and that, again, that's another layer. That's another layer. Having the courage to 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 speak, and and that's right, Trina. That's exactly right. Again, that's another layer. That's a little deeper. And that's why I said this is not as simple as it appears on the surface. It's a lot of layers. It's like Shrek. It's like a an ogre. It's like an onion, or it's really an artichoke. It's got many layers. Amen. But I'm, I'm, I'm chasing a rabbit. I'm pulling a thread. Because you got to learn how to communicate and express yourself on so many levels. Relationship, at work, at home, at church, society. It's so many layers. But I think the common denominator in all of it is, is having courage, not fearful of being judged and being vulnerable. And, and again, 
you, you can't complain about being misunderstood when you're not expressive. And again, at the end of the day, another common denominator is being honest. This has been a good talk. I told you, I dreamed about this last night. Learning how, how to communicate and share what's on your heart. And just let the chips fall where they may. You may, it took, it. believe it or not, it has taken me some time to get to this place. I just, just, just share. Let's go. Talk. Speak. And what we'll talk about tomorrow, intend to listen. Not just to make your point, but hear where the other person is coming from. You feel me? You feel me? Just hear where that other person is coming from. We got about five minutes. Any questions for me today? I'm telling y'all, Did again, I, I, I'm, I have logophilia. <laughs> what is that big old word, Dr. Sam? I love words. I love, I love to talk. That's my thing. That's my gifting. That's my calling. And, and one of my charges is I help people during challenging times. I help people stay spiritually focused through challenging times by finding the Christ in crisis. That's my next book project. And you ought to have... You ought to have my books, uh, Just What the Doctor Ordered, a, a 21 Day Prescription to Become a More Positive Person. Uh, I Declare Love, a 21 Day Devotion to Improve Your Self-Esteem. Um, uh, we Are Engaged Now, what, for my, for my couples. Uh, living Motivated and Walking Purpose Grow Rich. You ought to have a Dr. Sims Library. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you. I know, right, Trina? <laughs> Trina, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Dr. Wallace M. Same handle as on Periscope. And I've been doing live streaming since 2016, 2015, middle of 2015, June of 2015. And I just, I, I love, I have a platform. You have a platform. And just talking for the sake of talking, that's not what we're promoting. But having something to say at the right time is powerful. Amen. I love y'all so much. I love y'all, and I hope you have a, a great rest of your day. And remember what I've also said? If you do not come out of this crisis more focused, more empowered, more motivated, and inspired to live on purpose, you have not lacked time. You have lacked desire and determination. Hey, Gwinnett. Oh, come. I'm here. I'm here. Doc is back. Doc is back. And go to my YouTube channel and catch up with all of the, the challenges I've done, all of the um, church. We've had church. It's all there on my YouTube channel. And uh, we've been having a good time. So what do we talk about today? Can you talk? Learning how to communicate and express yourself. Check the replay out. Hey, replay viewers. I, I appreciate y'all so incredibly much. God bless y'all today. God bless you today. And listen, you remember this. If you stay high on life, life is going to stay high on you. <laughs>